Hey everybody. I know I keep telling you I'm going to start doing more updates to this channel, and I apologize that it keeps falling to the wayside. Let me also apologize up front about the wind that's probably going to be in the video. We've got a cold front moving through, and outside really is the best and most quiet place that I have to shoot a quick video, despite the wind. So if you'll put up with that, I do appreciate it. Now I've got a lot of different things that I'd really like to talk to you about uh, regarding masonry. But in an effort to try to stay on track with where we were before, I want to tell you something a little bit about the Fellowcraft degree. Now, my favorite part about the Fellowcraft degree is what's commonly known as the staircase lecture. Lecture. Now, when I first became a Master Mason, I turned around and said, hey, I want to be a part of these rituals. I like the ritual and ceremony part of the degrees, and I want to learn how to do some of this. And the gentleman who is now serving as our junior grand warden uh, said that perhaps the staircase lecture would be something for me because he thought I would be able to learn it well and not too many people around the local area were able to give it at the time. So I took the challenge up and learned it and I've been giving it in our lodge and in a few other lodges when invited uh, ever since. So it's been a great thing. The reason I like the staircase, staircase lecture is probably for a whole lot of different reasons, but I think if you just take the time to dissect it and really understand each of the individual sections that are in it, um, that you can really take a whole lot of information away and, and understand how these symbols and how these uh, allegories can help you understand what masonry is really trying to teach you. Now, I'm a Scottish Rite Mason as well, and there's a lot in Scottish Rite that talks about, you know, how there's that something that's left there for you to go and learn, uh, that it's not just going to be spelled out for you in the degree right in your face. And I think the staircase lecture, along with a lot of the other symbolic lodge degrees, but specifically for me, the staircase lecture really has that information in it if you just go and look for it. So if, you, if you're a Mason and you've never really taken the chance to look at a staircase lecture, there's not very many fellow craft degrees that happen in your area, uh, see what information is available from your Grand Lodge. Ask your Lodge Secretary and see if you, know, if you don't have something similar in Miss, that Mississippi has to a blue book. I'm sure you have something similar. And see what the information is in there. And, and, just learn and think about and, and be uh, contemplative, <laughs> as I mispronounce that for Mississippi, about the information that is inside of that staircase lecture. Um, there's probably, if you, if you were to say that the staircase lecture is, is this long, there's probably about that much of it that is, that is not written down in Mississippi. Uh, and that part that's not written down is very important but at the same time, the stuff that is written down has a lot of deep meaning in it as well. Now I'm not going to try to recite the staircase lecture to you because I think a recitation of it uh, really takes away from the value of it. Uh, there's so much information that, that you have to sort of experience uh, the, the ritual, if you will, part of the staircase that just saying the words might not bring to mind unless you're there in the lodge going through it. But some things to kind of point out to you. When I first was learning the staircase lecture so that I could recite it to other people, I had never heard of the seven liberal arts and sciences. I had never heard that term or that title ever before that moment. And so I went back and I learned a little bit. What is that? You know, I mean, number one, let's face it. I asked myself, did that exist? And so I went back and I looked at it and found out just how far back it went and what it really entailed. And then as I talked to Masons who have been doing Masonry for longer than I've been alive, and they told me about how we used to recite more of that information during the lecture than we do now. Uh, it's been abbreviated, if you will. And uh, in a way, that kind of helps bring out the highlights, but in a way, maybe something just a little bit is lost at the same time. So take the time to, to look at those things and ask yourself, you know, those five orders in architecture, go learn why those were so important. What did they matter? Why does a column that looks just slightly different to you on paper actually constitute an entirely different design of architecture? 
Did it really symbolize a wisdom? Did it really symbolize a strength or a beauty? And I think if, if you take the time to research those things, and I'm not talking about the decades of education that you could take studying these things. I'm talking about take an afternoon and learn what architecture really was. Learn about uh, those five orders in architecture and look at some old pictures of them and see how they were drawn and understand why and, and see how that pillar could be interpreted as being wisdom or why it is wise that it was ever constructed in the first place and and how that one pillar really can signify strength as opposed to the other ones and why does that one pillar signify beauty more than the others and and let that symbolism really hit you and tie that together and it also help you if you're interested in ever being able to give these lectures at least that's my way of learning. It helps you picture it so that you can help give those and, and, and instruct people um, as you give these lessons as well. So I hope to give you more about the staircase lecture in the future because uh, there's just so much more in there. Uh, but to be honest, I needed to get a video out to you guys because it was just bugging me that I hadn't put anything out. So thank you all for watching. And I'm going to stop this and turn around and record another one about the Scottish Rite that I'll post a few days after this. So be sure to check back soon. Thanks. Bye.